And as the alarming rise in acts of anti-Semitism continues in many parts of the world, many in our community are denouncing the recent uptick in anti-Jewish crimes we've seen happening here. Well, today the Greater Miami Jewish Federation held a virtual town hall on the subject, and they were joined by lawmakers from both sides of the aisle. CBS 4's Bo Beth Yates is live for us from the David Posnack Jewish Community Center in Davie tonight with more. Bo Beth? Well, Elliot, there were about a thousand people on that virtual town hall called We Stand with Israel. And those lawmakers you mentioned said they were not happy with the rise in anti Semitism. Anti Semitism, this is an evil poison, ancient poison. One by one, state leaders voiced their concerns about the increased attacks on the Jewish community. I'm also doing a bill that was going to make sure that there's no taxpayer dollars that are going to go to fund Hamas terrorists. And I'm hopeful that all of my colleagues will support that. The Florida lawmakers pledged their support of legislation that would strengthen the Jewish community and Israel's ability to defend itself, citing the more than 4,000 rockets that were fired at the country. It really underscores the need for the United States to make a firm bipartisan commitment to both the state of Israel and the Jewish people. For that reason, I introduced a resolution in the House of Representatives to condemn the terrorist attacks from Hamas and to reaffirm our crucial support for the U.S.-Israeli alliance. With the help of U.S. funding, Israel's missile defense system was able to shoot those rockets down. And according to the website ifamericasnew.org, less than 20 Israelis were killed as a result of the fighting. In contrast, about 230 Palestinians were killed. But in the meeting, officials were clear their goal was not to address the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, but instead stand against anti-Semitism. Fighting anti-Semitism and supporting Israel are two of the rare issues that unify our South Florida Jewish community. And according to the website ADL.org, there have been 124 anti-Semitic incidents in the U.S. between April 26 and May 23rd, and some of them happened right here in South Florida. A Jewish family from New Jersey was visiting Bound Harbor when four men drove by and hurled anti-Semitic slurs and actual garbage at them. And if all that wasn't enough, a man went into an anti-Semitic rant directed at a rabbi outside the Chabad of South Broward in Hallandale Beach, and then proceeded to dump a bag of human feces on the synagogue's doorstep. This must stop. Now, in addition to today's virtual town hall meeting, the group will host an interfaith community rally against anti-Semitism. That is going to be at the Holocaust Memorial on Miami Beach, Thursday, June the 3rd at 6 p.m. Live in Davie, Bobeth Yates, CBS 4 News.